Hey everybody, welcome to class. What we're going to do today is we're going to work on another, we're going to work on this story called Morgue. We've been working on it for the past couple of weeks and now we're on part number three. Okay, so that's what we'll be working on. And in reading this story, what we'll do is we will uh, go over new vocabulary. We'll also look at some of the color when it comes to the, uh, the story. Let me share something with you all. Um, what this is, this is how to get your reservations here at Verbling, okay? So with your reservations, you are guaranteed a seat in class. So that's something really, uh, really cool for you. So that way you never have to worry about um, attending a class and getting a seat in there. So it's really simple to get reservations. You can upgrade to a premium account. You can invite friends if you like. And you can also connect with Facebook. And you can like Verbling on Facebook, okay? Hi, Mario. Hi, Mario. Welcome to class. How are you? Hello, Mario. How Hello. are you? Hey, how are you today? Yeah, uh, I'm. <laughs> I'm good. And what about you? Doing well, doing well. Yeah. So good, good deal, good deal. Welcome to class. Welcome yes, to class. You. So you're welcome. All right. And I'm just bringing up the page right now so we can get started on that. Hello, Juan. Hi, teacher. Hey. Hey, Furkan. <laughs> Hi, Furkan. Yes. Doing well, doing well, doing well. Just, uh, just getting things started. Here we go. Yeah, I wanted to, um, I was trying a new, uh, I had that split screen, but also, too, I was trying to find a way to include the, um, the spell checker, too, so I got that working now as well. So, Abigail. Hello, Abigail. Hello. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Good, good, good. So, 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 where are you, where are you from, Abigail? And I wasn't laughing uh, at you; I was just laughing at Furkan's uh, comment here. So, where are you from? Uh, I come from uh, Spain. Okay, good, 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 very good. Well, welcome to class. Uh, let's Thank see who else is here. You're welcome, uh, Sara. Hi, Sara. How are you today? Good, good, good. Oh, look at that. A cat with a cat. cat with a, a cat with a cat with a cat. Wow. Those are a lot of cats. So, uh, Sara, can you turn up your microphone just a little bit? Yeah, if you can turn up just a little bit. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit better. It's a little bit better. There's a buzz coming from somebody. I don't know who it is, but make sure that you have everything uh, working properly. If not, you can take a look here. Okay? All right. And I see Altair has the classroom rules. Uh, thanks, Altair. It's like having my own teacher's assistant. Okay, so good. So there's no sense in just hanging around, right, guys? Let's uh, let's get class started. There's going to be other people that join in. Okay, all right. But let's get over here. Let's get to the story. And for those of you that don't have the story for some reason in front of you, uh, let me go ahead and give that to you. Right. 
Okay, and let's see here. Let's make sure this works. Okay, good, good, good. So this is the story of Morg, and this takes place back in, um, you know, like an old Scottish or an old Irish town, right? So in an old village. All right. So, um, and she has her own gods that she worships, right? And what she did is the last last place we left off, she was out just bearing herself to her god, uh, asking for forgiveness because she was being so bold and uh, trying to go out on her own, be her own person. And the one thing that Morg wants more than anything, she wants to go out to the hunt. She wants to join the hunt with her brother and her father. And she's very upset, too, because her brother doesn't really care about the hunt. He's kind of just out there for the heck of it. He's not really involved. But Morg, she feels that she would be um, that she would be great at the hunt, that she would be a great um, hunter. So, okay, so that's about it. No need to get much into a, uh, any more of a background on that. Uh, and let's see, one more person, Saria, Sar Saraya, Saraya Blanco. It is Sarai. <laughs> Sarai, hello, Sarai. Hello. How are you? How are you, Sarai? Good, good. Sorry, I, I was uh, muting the microphone because I was doing some cooking and listening to you guys. So I will be with you shortly. Okay. All right, Sarai. Follow the story. Just leave the story playing in the background so you can follow. So okay, good, Sarai. Good. Cook, cook something for me. Huevos <laughs> uh, con pino or whatever. Okay. Yeah, so okay. anyway, good to, yeah, good to meet you, yeah. Sarai. Uh, Abigail. Yeah. Hello, Abigail. Sorry, uh, but my uh, internet uh, got got um, a problem. I don't know yep. what. Uh, can you repeat? N yeah, no problem, no problem. Just one quick second. So Soraya is cooking paella. Does she know that my favorite dish is black? One of my favorite dishes is black squid paella. I mean, I kid you not. Anyway, that that's one of my favorite dishes. Anyway, we don't we don't need to get off track. But no kidding. Um, okay. So yeah, that is the best, huh? Okay, Abigail, uh, go ahead. Can you read here? Just starting at the top, as she tried to decide. She heard a fearful crashing and clattering. Okay, yeah. so this is where we're at, and this again, this is where she was here um, worshiping her God. And I'm not trying to make people into pagans. Okay, go ahead, read here, and then just stop down in here. And I'll bring up some words over here, guys. Okay, so you can see what some of the meanings are, and we'll also talk about those. Go ahead and just read nice and slow and smooth. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> As she tried to decide, she heard a fearful crashing and clattering. Out of the trees on the other side of the stream burst a full-grown boar. It squealed with surprise and skidded to a halt. It stood facing her, its tusks so sharp they could gore a man to death. Its mean little eyes stared at her. Mark started back. Stared okay. back. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's okay. Go ahead. The boar was as tall as she was, but wider, heavier. The eyes were level, but its snout was long and covered with short black bristles. Its ears were pricked in her direction. She could see the wetness of its nose and how it could hardly close its mouth over the long, sharp teeth. She could see its it's tusks, Tusk. tusks, mm -hmm. tusks, Jut, uh, jutting out past its jaw. She could hear it taking short, rushed breaths, and sh and she could smell the rank smell of its sweet and its fear. The goddess had not protected her; she had put her in, mor in mortal danger. Morgs, uh, I continue. Ah uh, yeah, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Mark's scalp pricked, prickled as the hairs on her head stood up. 
Her mouth was dry. She could feel her heart pounding in her chest. She wanted to run, but she heard her father's voice in her head. Never run. Never show you're frightened. Okay, excellent. Good, good, good. Okay, so again, I try to show these pictures here on the side for you. Okay, so you can just see the words as they come up. All right. Okay, so good. So crashing and clattering. So that's just a lot of commotion. You know, like something's rustling around, something uh, in the woods just breaking apart things. Okay, um, so I showed you what a stream is. You could see a full-grown boar. A boar is a wild pig, all right, with those big tusks. So when it squeals, you know how a pig squeals? How is that? <laughs> I don't really want to make, make uh, the squealing sound. Just trust me. Okay, so um, surprised and skidded to a halt. So there it was, just looking at her. So we looked at stare, when you just stare, when you look somebody in their eyes. So they were staring at each other. All right. Um, let's see here. So saw its ears. We saw its snout sticking out. All right. So here, again, this is, um, this is the author, right? The author bringing a lot of color to this. She could smell the rank smell of its sweat and it's fear. So it's sweat, it's perspiration that comes off your body when you're hot. So she could s smell it. And rank is just a very disgusting smell. So mortal danger, we're all mortal, okay? All right? We're human beings, we're mortal, we're going to die. Gods are immortal, all right? Because they live on forever and they never die. So mortal danger is where you can die, okay? All right? Uh, any other words here, guys? Okay. All right, so let's continue on here. Okay, sorry I'm not going to make any pig sounds today. Oh, let's see. Ahmed. Hi, Ahmed. How are you? I'm fine. How about you, teacher? Doing well, doing well. And Jonathan. Hi, Jonathan. Hello. Hi, how are you today? I'm um, fine, thank you. Good, 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 good. All right, and uh, Juan's here. Let's see, Niha, hi Niha, or Ni hi. Nihan, hi Nihan. How are you? Thanks, great, and you? Doing well, doing well. Okay, good. And everybody in the chat, hello, everyone. Okay, all right. Okay, so good. So uh, Ahmed, are you ready to read here? Not yet. Uh, start with another one, cause um, uh, I uh, I still don't have the link. Okay. Can, Are you can you uh, yeah. post it in the, in the chat? No problem. No problem. And also, two guys. Okay. Um, let it, it's let okay. someone start. Yep, it's okay. And also, guys, keep in mind okay. that I typically put these uh, links in the in the classroom description. Okay, I'll put it in the chat too. But I typically have it in there. No, no problem. Okay. So, Jonathan. Can you read here? Can you see this? The boar lowered its head. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, the boar lowered its head. It snorted. Mort realized that it was about to charge. The thought back to her father's words. Pretend you're a boar. She screamed a high-pitched resonant scream. Mort raised her arms and flapped them threateningly at the boar. She screamed again. It was not a scream of fear, but of threat. The boar was startled. It hesitated, then turned turned and crashed back into the forest. Go ahead. Keep on going. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Um, Morg took a deep, shuddering breath. She started to trim, tremble and clasped, clasped her arms to stop them shaking. She felt cold and turned to grab the cloak that had fallen off when she was praying to the goddess. When she turned back, Arlen, the hound, emerged from, the between, from between the trees, nose to the ground, following the trail of the boar. He caught Morg's, Morg's scent Embarked with joy, he leaped up. He leaped up 
and her and hurt and licked her face all over. Morg laughed and pushed him away. Okay, good, 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 very good. Okay, so yeah, again, so she uh, she's the one that she got into something called fight or flight. Okay, so fight or flight response. And what that is is you either decide to stay and fight, or otherwise you decide to run away. Okay, all right. Um, I don't know if you all have ever been in a situation like that, uh, but it's quite, I mean, like a real bad situation, almost similar to that, but it's its pretty scary. Okay, so the boar lowered its head. Um, you know, she's remembering what her father said. Pretend you are a boar. So scream. You can scream as if you're scared, all right? But she screamed back as if it was a threat, okay? She startled the boar, which means you scare it. It hesitated. It means it waits for a moment. Then it turned around and went back into the forest. Okay, and then she took a deep, shuddering breath. So that's the type of breath that's like, you know, you're kind of shaking a little bit. You're getting all of that anxiety out. All right, and then here, so she grabbed her cloak. Okay, so that's what she's wearing. She's wearing a cloak. Right again, this is ancient times. So she has a cloak on. All right. Um, let's see, so then her hound, her hound, so they have these hunting hounds, which is a dog, which came, <laughs> hopefully her hound's a little bigger than this, maybe more like this size, right? Okay, um, and then he barked with joy, you know, your dogs bark, and licked her on the face, okay, let's see, mm. okay, I'm just looking to see if there's any words that anybody needs, okay, all right, and feel free to stop me. If you have a question, just stop me. Say, hey, Brett, what about this one, okay? All right. All right. Let's see here. Okay. So, well, well, the meaning of clasp, clasp her arms. Yeah, so if you clasp something, you grab it. So she clasped her arms. So that's kind of like where you, you grab them together. Um, yeah, let's see. It's more more like this. She like clasped them. Okay, she kind of brought them together. All right. Okay, so she's okay. kind of like holding herself is what she's doing. Okay, all right. And are you um are you ready to uh, to read, Ahmed? Oh yeah, sorry. So sorry, yeah, uh, I'm ready. Soraya. One second, Soraya. So yeah, a cloak. This is a cloak. Okay, let me see if I can do one other thing, guys. Give me, give me one second here. I want to see if I can resize this a little bit. Still getting everybody. Give me one moment. Okay. Oh, it's not going to let me, is it? Hmm. Okay, good. Good, good. Now I can see this a little bit better. Okay, so good. Good. Okay, so uh, Ahmed, can you start out here? Starting from... Uh, off, off, Arlen. Off Arlen. Get off me. Hmm? Yeah, her dog's on top of her. Yeah, okay. her dog's licking her like crazy, right? <laughs> of Arlen, good off of me. She said, one moment there was just Arlen, then the groove was full of uh, hounds as the rest of uh, caught up. Uh, they uh, sniffed the ground, threatening the poor movement. The one of the dogs howled. He had ca caught uh, the, se the second. He blown back into the forest and uh, onto the trail of uh, the boar. Uh, the rest of the, the hounds followed Arlen with a bag, uh, a backward look at Morg went through. The grove was empty. Morg could hear the, the hunting uh, horn in the distance and the yells of the 
Hun Huntsman. Huntsman. Mm -hmm. As the house, as the house, big dog the skin. Uh, but they didn't uh, come into the groove. No one saw her victory over the board. Okay. Can I uh, give me one moment. Let me see how much is in here. Yeah, go ahead. Continue. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Morgue sat flat down. She thought for a moment of finding the the hunt, of telling her father what happened, what had happened, but she should never catch catch them. And anyway, they wouldn't believe her when the poor had uh, turned and gone back into the forest. She uh, thought that uh, the uh, the goddess had answered her prayer that the poor was a test. The boar was, after all, a scared animal. Maybe the goddess had taken on its form. She had ha, ha, she had hope. It was a sign that uh, she would be allowed to go on the hunt. But now the hunt ha had moved on, had moved on, and she knew that uh, no one had had heard. Her voice was too small, too unimportant. Probably the goddess was angry with her. Okay, so good. Good, good. Very good. Okay, so let's look at this a uh, few things. Okay, so we looked at grove. So, you know, you have like a grove, grove of trees, for instance. Okay, so this is a grove. They're out here. Okay, um, and then dogs howl, you know, whoo, right? Okay, they caught the scent. So I was showing you how... Say that again. Like like wolves howl. Okay. Grove is something like uh, like forest. Uh huh. So this is a grove here. Okay. All right. Okay. And then we all know how wolves howl. Okay. So these dogs are howling. So they caught the scent. Remember the picture I was showing you, where the dog had its nose to the ground. Okay, and it was moving forward. So it caught the scent. So that's that's what happens when dogs are hunting. They sniff and they look for the scent. Or they, they, pardon me, they sniff for the scent so they can smell that. And then they follow the animals, all right? So you have these hounds that are following them. Um, so now she's in the hunt. Interesting, huh? She found herself in the hunt. So um, the hunting horn, I was showing you all that, right? So you have a hunting horn. Okay, so this is where they're blowing to let everybody know, hey, come on over here. All right? And... Okay, so now she sits back down. Okay, so, you know, answered her prayer. Again, she was praying to this goddess that she has. Okay, and when this is, this is interesting. Maybe the goddess had taken on its form. So, you know, in Greek mythology and things like that, they say that gods can take on the form of humans, animals, and other things. So she thought that maybe it took on its form. Maybe that it change shape and became that animal okay all right so let's continue on here okay and remember everybody stay muted um, when you're when you're not speaking okay stay muted when you're not speaking um, and let's see and Jonathan did you did you read yet I know I had skipped a med I think you read right and then uh, Jorge yes mm -hmm. yep uh, yes. and you did read right Jonathan okay so Okay, uh, everybody kind of comes and goes. Jorge, can you read here? Morg was hungry. Yes, Morg was hungry. She had forgotten to bring any food with her. She didn't. She did not even have the, cr the chunk of flat bread her mother would usually send with her into the fields. She covered her hands and drank some some of the water from the goddess stream. Perhaps I would bring her fortune. She needed. She chose. Continue. Ah, uh, please. Yep. Yeah. Suddenly she shivered. It was getting colder. All the warmth had gone from the sun, and it would not be long in the sky. The nights were squeezing the days hard at this time of year. Mark slung her cloak around her shoulders and started to scramble back down the bank. Go ahead. Yeah. 
Mark was tired. Her legs were as heavy as the trunks of trees. Her stomach rumbled with hunger and misery. She dragged herself on eyes to the ground. The path to the sacred roof was usually would used to be the tribal. Uh, but there had been no ceremony, therefore some one time. In places, the way has not always clear, so Morg didn't notice that she had strayed off the path, and that now she was walking along a new track. Okay, so good, good, okay, so very good. Um, so yeah, she, w she was hungry now, right? And we saw the flatbread, we saw what flatbread looks like. Um, let's see here, okay, so shivering, we saw the picture of shivering, it's kind of when you're shaking from the cold, all right, no warmth from the sun, so this is, this is really neat, I like this, this is great, okay, the nights were squeezing the days hard at this time of year, so at this time of year, there's less light, you know, it, it depends on where you're at, if you're in the tropics, it kind of stays the same, but if you're in a uh, much further, uh, like in a northern hemisphere or southern hemisphere, then the higher up you are, the bigger the change that you'll have, right? So the higher up you are, if you're up here or down here, there will be a bigger change than when you're here uh, during the season. So the nights were squeezing the days hard, days hard at this time of year. So this is during the winter time, not much sunlight out. Okay. So here we go. So good, good. More, um, more good words in here. So her legs were heavy as tree trunks. So we saw tree trunks. It's the thick part of the tree. So it's just real heavy, feeling, um, feeling very tired. Okay. We saw what a tribe is. Okay. Uh, Group of what people. is rumble? Her, oh, uh, her stomach rumbled. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So good, very good. So when your stomach rumbles, all right, it's, it's. Uh, so when you're hungry, everybody's been hungry before, right? Your stomach seems yeah. to be making like a sound to it, all right? Yeah. I don't, I don't know how, I don't know how to else to describe it. Starving? Yeah, it's when you're starving and your stomach rumbles. Um, hmm. Yeah, I know. let's see. Yeah, it's just, it's just where it stumbles some or uh, kind of you hear a few sounds coming from it. You know, it kind yeah, of. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't know how else to describe it. That one's a hard one to describe. Uh, so yeah, it's just kind of where it grumbles or rumbles, uh, moving around. Okay, let's see here. And a ceremony. So you know, tribes have ceremonies. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Somebody else had a question. Um, teacher. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I wanted I wanted to say that uh, here in Spain, for example, uh, for stomach uh, stomachs rumble, we say like. Um, Roar. Uh huh. Okay. So like like a lion roars. So yeah. So so you guys must get really hungry. It's normal. It's very well. <laughs> so that's good. Good. Does it does it roar for paella? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it doesn't. Doesn't. <laughs> so good. 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 Uh, so yeah. I don't have another question. Uh huh. Yep. Stray off, stray off the path. Oh yeah, so stray. So you know, like you have a path. Okay, so like a path in the forest. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So if you're walking down the down the path, then maybe you stray off into the woods. You just like move off. So that's all. Yeah. So also too, sometimes people stray away from their moral compass. You know, which is you know how you go in life. Okay. Sometimes, unfortunately. Um, Wow, who's that sound coming from? Hey, Muhammad. Hey, chill out, man. Okay. So, uh, yeah, so sometimes also, too, if a... Here's another use of stray. It's not very good, okay? Um, the people do it. But if a husband was to cheat on his wife, he would stray off with another woman, okay? All right. So different, sure. different uses of stray. Hmm? Go ahead, Juan. Uh, I just found that on the website that we're uh, reading, as soon as mm -hmm. we double click on the word that we want to know the meaning, automatically mm -hmm. open a window with the meaning of of, of the word. Yep. Yep. I didn't know but that. um, 
Yeah, so so it'll do that. So it'll go ahead and jump up, jump up to the meeting in there. And um, you know, it's kind of when it when it does that though, it kind of I've seen that before. And what I what I use, see, it does that. But actually, let me see if we can show you in here. What shockwave flash? So let me show you something in here. Ah, this one here isn't going to do it. Everything links. Ah, anyway, but I have another tool that that brings it up. But this this one, yeah, there we go. Actually, I use Grammarly, and I, it kind of irritates me because this one opens it for me, all right, <laughs> instead of just get, letting me use Grammarly to give the de definition. But, yeah, it'll do that for you. So Juan's right. When you click on it, so like I clicked on clattering, it'll open up and give you the de uh, definition. Those of you that want to read on your own or read another story on here on your own. So yep. How can you use the chat box with Grammarly application? <laughs> Well, what I did is I opened up Firefox today, and then I used oh. Google Chrome. So that, that's why I was a little discombobulated when I first started class, okay? And discombobulated yeah. is a great word. So, uh, but anyway, yeah, that way I can still, uh, still go in here. Uh, anyway, anyway, but yeah, that's how it works. Uh, hello, Juan. Hey, Juan. Can you, uh, can you do Morgan here? And th by the way, thanks for pointing that out, Juan. Uh, yeah. Can you read here what Morg was thinking? Yes, teacher. Well, from Morg up to where, teacher? Uh, Morg was thinking, and then just just go down here to where you get done with the litter. Okay. 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 It says Morg was thinking about the cold in her toes and wiggling them as she walked when she heard a ru rustling in the undergrowth to her left. She hesitated she should go on. It was getting late. She did not want to be in the forest in the dark. Mort heard the rustling again. Curiosity overcame her. She had to know what was in the bushes. The noise was coming from a group of low thorns. Walking around, she saw space that she could slither Throw. How do you pronounce that word? Through. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Through. through. Slither. Slither through like snakes slither. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Slither through as she slid along on her front. She heard thin squeals. Something knew she was coming. The thorns opened out and she came up on a clearing in the center of, a bush, of the bushes. A shallow bowl had been scrapped away in line with leaves. On the leaves were four little wild boar piglets. They were each the size of three of her hands and they were squealing and tumbling over each other to get to her. They can only be days old, thought more. Pale brown and cream strips Stripes. Stripes. Green stripes run from the tips of their snouts to their tails, which were twitching with exci excitement. They're just like bumblebees. She smiled, but it was late for a war leader. She knew that they usually had babies in the sowing season. That was when boars were most dangerous. Perhaps this was a second leader. Okay, so good, so good. All right, and hey guys, um, just so you all know, all right, I almost all the time with all of my classes, I give the link out, all right, in the class description. Okay, so Muhammad, when you when you ask for a link, all right, you're welcome, Muhammad. But just keep in mind, it's right underneath the class description. And then any time I have to stop, it just takes me away from teaching, okay? So you guys try to try to maintain yourselves when it comes to things like that, okay? So yeah, cute little piglets, huh? Alright? And I and I apologize, I realize that some people that um, you know, pig is not kosher in your diet, okay? It's just part of the story. So um so that's all, okay? All right? So the cold in her toes. Hey Muhammad, 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 mute. Look, Muhammad, there's noise coming from you, okay? You gotta mute yourself. Muhammad, you know you know the rules. You've been here long enough, okay? You're gonna have to sit out one, Muhammad, okay? Alright? Sorry. 
But you've been, you've been taking classes long enough. You understand these rules by now, okay? All right? So, um, so guys, stay muted if you're not speaking just so that we can hear each other better, okay? Much better, okay? So she was thinking about the cold in her toes, and we were talking about wiggling toes, okay? So when you wiggle your toes in here, okay? All right? And, hey, Jorge, I'm going to mute you real quick, okay? All right? Just because we can hear you typing like chickens. Okay, so again here, it's getting late. We showed the dark forest. Um, so curiosity overcame her. So this is really good. So sometimes the cold can overcome you. It's so cold that finally, oh, just you're freezing, right? The curiosity overcame her. So what that means is finally she had to give in to her curiosity. She had to see what's going on. She didn't know it was in the bushes. All right, so we looked at thorns. So you have thorns on like a rose bush and so forth. So there's a group of bushes that she had to slither through like a snake. All right, and in here, so she came upon a clearing. So there's a clearing like in a forest. So what happens is you have all this bush and everything, and then you'll have like a clearing. This is a clearing in a forest. All right. Okay, so squealing and tumbling, this is where she came upon these little pigs. Okay, these little pigs. All right, so good. Good. Okay, so let's continue on. So Furkan, you're next here, Furkan. Then she frowned. Okay. Then she frowned. Where was the piglet's mother? Female boars stayed close to their babies to protect them, which meant it was not far away, which meant that Mork needed to get out of the bush quickly. She hesitated. She had had an idea. Everyone was going to be cross with her when she got back to the village, but if she came with the Sambor piglets. She reached out for the nearest one. It slipped through her fingers. She crawled slowly towards another and tried to grab its tail, but it twisted away from her, then looked back over its shoulder. This is a good game, it seemed to say. She ground her teeth. She threw herself on the turret, but somehow it squeezed from under her. It was like trying to catch water. Then, he, then her cloak hooked on one of the thorns, and she had, th she had a thought. Holding the cloak on both edges, she threw it over, over the nearest piglet and then threw herself on top of it. The piglet wriggled and squiggled under the brown wool cloth. Standing on two of the corners with her feet, Mark scooped the other edge under the piglet and grabbed all four corners into her hands. She had a brown wool bundle with a piglet skirming in it. Triumphed. <laughs> good, good. So triumph. Yep, she finally has her piglet. So she's thinking that, okay, yeah, I, you know, I may have made an error, but if I can bring back at least one or some of these boar piglets. So there's the little piglets that we saw. So she has this great idea. Okay, so it slipped through her fingers, you know, so it just fell off. So let's see in here. Yeah, this is good. So she's thinking to herself, okay, trying to grab this pig. This is a good game, it seemed to say. So the little pig is making a game out of it is what she's thinking. Okay, so again, so it hooked on one of the thorns. So so she has her cloak, so it hooked on one of these thorns here. All right, um, let's see here. Okay, so scoop, so when you scoop something up. Okay, so this is like scoop, when you scoop something up, so she scooped it up with her hands. Okay. All right, let's squiggle. Squiggle, or um, yeah. what here? Like, like the squiggle. Yeah, so it's kind of like to um, like kind of move around, you know, like kind of. So it's a little pig, right? So what it's doing is kind of like shaking around. Yeah, shoot, that's not gonna. Hmm. Yeah, it's kind of like moving around back and forth. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yep. Kind of like just moving around. Kind of like little babies, you know. Little babies uh, sometimes they'll squiggle around in your arms a little bit. Okay. Okay, Mario. Okay, Mario. Okay. 
she looked around. The other three were nowhere to be seen, hiding the undergrowth. She felt the weight of the piglet. It might be young, but it was heavy. One was quite enough. She'd better get moving before the bull came to find her offspring. She started to crawl along another turn, uh, tunnel out of the thorn when she bumped into something soft. It was a dead bull. She must have been the piglet's mother. Morg realized that uh, was why she'd been able to catch the piglet. It was exhausted and hungry. Morg crouched over the bull. She'd been killed a couple of days ago. Morg rec reckoned, 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 mm -hmm. reckoned. She looked harder and a, child, a chill ran down her sp spine. She saw that the bull had been killed by a wolf. Morg scuttled out of the bushes, bushes as fast as she could. It was only when she was back on the path and walking and walk that was nearly a run that she realized she didn't know where she was. The path started to drop down through steep sided gorge she has not seen before. Her throat tightened. She was lost. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, so yeah, so um, so she looked around. She finally found this uh, this unfortunate dead mother. Okay, so dead mother, and a spill went, a chill went down your spine. So you say a chill goes down your spine. So your spine is what holds your back up. It's the main part of your body. Okay, it's going to hold everything together. So a chill, it almost feels like coldness going down there. So crouched over. So when you crouch over something, you kind of lean down and you're over it, okay? So scuttle. So when you scuttle, you just kind of just rush out, okay? Scuttle out of the bushes as fast as she could, all right? So now what she's trying to do is find her way home, but her throat tightened. So, you know, when you're, when you're nervous or you're scared, your throat can tighten. She realizes that she is now lost, okay? Okay, so good. We might be able to finish the story today. So uh, go ahead, Nihan. Is it is it Nihan? Is that is that right? Uh, oh. Nihan. How, how do I say Nihan. it? Nihan. Nihan. Ni yes. Okay. Short. All right. Got it. Got it, Nihan. Go ahead uh, for a moment. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Um, there will be. She thought hard. Perhaps the sun could help her. She couldn't see it, but she could tell the sky was through ahead of her. Than behind. If it was lighter, that must be where, that must be where the sun would set. She'd walk towards the sun when she left the village in the morning. The sun had crossed the sky since then and was now going down. Head towards the setting sun, she thought. She hoped that she was right, as she was deciding she heard a noise. Not very loud, far, far away. She was not sure, but it sounded, sounded a little like the howl of a wolf. Morg set off, a, set off at a brisk, brisk truth. She started to chant a prayer to Cranus, the god of the wild beasts, but then changed her mind. She should stay loyal to Alice, who had helped her so far. The board had been a test and the piglet somehow, an answer to her prayer. Alice had chosen her own way. Would the, would the godness now help her safely home? She didn't hear the wolves again. She decided that she had imagined the sound, or that they were hunting in another part of the forest. 
but she kept her ears pricked, and the hairs on the back of her neck refused refused to lie flat. Okay, so good, 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 very good. Okay, I think we kind of skipped over this a little bit, but that's okay. It's okay, no problem. So, so yeah, so the sun setting. Let's hope she has this beautiful of a sunset. Wow, boy, those are gorgeous, huh? Well, that's not real. Okay, but anyway, oh. yeah, that's that's not that's not real. There, you can tell that. Photoshop, I think. Yeah, some imaginary world here. Okay, so hey, James. Yeah, James. I'm sorry, James. I don't know what the issue is, James. Okay, so, and um, James, try not to try not to um, just uh, type like in all caps, like you're yelling at us, James. It's no, it's nobody's fault. Trust me, nobody here. Um, Want you to not be able to see the class, James? Okay, there's a link. All right. Um, okay, James, lay lay off the coffee, man. Okay, so here we go. Um, yeah, so she could tell that the sky was lighter ahead of her than behind her. So what she's doing now is she's looking for the directions, right? Okay, she's trying to find out where's um, east and where's west. Because we all know that the sun uh, rises in the east and sets in the west. So that's what she's looking for. So she's heading towards the setting sun to hope that she's right, that she's going at the right, going to the right place. So a brisk trot. So trot. Good, good. So horses will trot. Okay, you'll see horses trot. Okay, that's a perfect example of a trot. So she's trotting as well. Okay, so she started to chant a prayer. So that's when you continue like to repeat, you know, a prayer. Okay, all right. The God of wild beasts. Um, but she wanted it. So she's praying with one God, the God of wild beasts, because of uh, the fact of what she's doing with the animals. But she wanted to stay loyal to her God, Alos, who had helped her along the way. All right. So, so sometimes, you know, we believe that, you know, and it, it's okay, everybody has their own faith. So those that don't believe in a God, it's okay as well. But some, sometimes we think that our God or our gods will put us to a test, right? They'll put us to a test. You know, very hard times uh, in life, sometimes they'll put us to a test. Okay? All right. So, okay. Imagine, so she thought of that sound. Maybe imagine, maybe it's not real. Maybe it's in her imagination. Okay, are you ready, uh, Mohammed? Can you see what this with the path became muddy? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And Muhammad, just just make sure that you know you're on mute when you're not speaking because there's a lot of times where you have sounds coming. Okay. Sorry, sorry it's okay, Muhammad. It's okay, no problem. Go ahead, Muhammad. Read here. We're still friends, yeah, Muhammad. Don't stop. worry. Okay. <laughs> no problem. Okay. okay. It's my first time. It's okay. 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 Go go ahead. Mm -hmm. From my, from Mark's it off uh, at the, the, the risk the, the path the path became muddy the path became muddy okay the the path became muddy Mog squilled on uh, trying to keep to the farm grass helcos jumping from Tusco to Tusco her shoes were made of the then leather and they were soon stuck the path had disappeared into a bog. Morg hesitated and looked around. The trees were thinning. She could see the beginnings of a stream and maybe of clearing. She took a step and went up in in her in uh, and and went up into her knee. She nearly lost hold of the biglet. She pulled out her leg. It was coated uh, in thick, stinking mud. I mustn't lose courage now, thought Mark. If I do, I will never get home. Clothing the piglet with renewed de determination, she took a leap into a patch of grass. Soon she was through the trees and she was right. There was a clearing, best of all, from clearing, she could see her hill, rising tall and black above the forest, more nearly stopped with relief. As she did... Go, go ahead. As she did, so she heard a hole 
the long walling hall of a hungry wolf. Ghost pimples, frozen Mark's arm, the hall came again, rising high over the dusk of the forest. It's nearer, she thought. I'm, I'm sure it's nearer. Morg started to run. She could see the hill, but she was still a long way, a long way away from safety. She reached the edge of the field where she had put the sheep just, the sheep just that morning. They were empty now. The sheep all safe in the fort. The hole came again, and a second, and then a second, and the third. Of course, there are more than one. She thought as she stumbled on a whole pack. They are following me. They are definitely following me. Then she okay, so good. No, no, it's it's good. It's good. Okay. So, yep. so like a whole pack of wolves. You know that wolves are in packs. And these goose pimples. So we all have goose pimples. We actually we call them in the U.S. We call them goosebumps most of the time. So when you're scared, your hair kind of stands up, right? And you get these yeah. goosebumps. Okay. All right. So she oh, squelched on. So that's just kind of just moving on. You know, slowly getting in and out of the mud. Okay, so a bog. Okay, so here's where a bog. Show you like a bog. So this is a bog. All right, real muddy, real hard to get through. Mm -hmm. And shiver. So yeah, you shiver from the cold. Okay, shiver. Yeah, like shaking. Mm -hmm. It's like shaking. Mm -hmm. Yep. And when you feel okay. cold, you just hold your arm, and mm -hmm. just feel cold. Yep, and down your spine. They say you can feel it down your spine when you're cold. Okay? You can feel it down your spine and all the way to your bone is what they say. Okay, so she mustn't lose courage now. So courage, that's ability to go and do something, right? So she mustn't lose courage. Okay. Yep. So here's where she hears the wolf. Okay. All right, so we're almost towards the end of the story. So let's continue on here. So Ishan... Hi, Ishan. Hello, Ishan. And Jorge, make sure you stay muted, okay? All right? Okay. Uh, Ishan, can you hear us? Oh, he's locked up. Hey, hey, Mario, you were you were the first one in class today, so I'm going to give you another. I'm going to start with you when it comes to mm -hmm. uh, reading a little bit more, okay? Go, go ahead, okay. Mario. Okay. Then she realized, of course, they were following her. She smelled like a bull carrying the piglet in her cloak. What an idiot I am, she thought. She was about to drop the cloak and let the piglet free when she pause, paused. No, I've not, I've got this far, she thought. I can't just leave it now. Not after all this. She started to scramble up the rocky path to the gate. I'm nearly there. I'm nearly there, she thought. The holes were so close, more thought she could hear the snapping of the wolves' jaws and feel the warmth of their breath on her heels. The gates of the fort were closed. Morg summoned all her energy. Open quickly, she screamed. A pale round head appeared over the ramparts and looked down. Who goes there? called the watchman. It is, is it me? Morg, the wolves. The watchman disappeared and Morg heard him shout out a warning inside. She heard footsteps running down the passage to the gate. He opened it. Opened it. Good, good, good. Sorry, I was muted there. So the ramparts, the ramparts here. Ramparts. Yeah, yeah, these little breaks in there. So, yeah, so she came up to this gate. The gate's closed, so there's going to be a gate around her village to keep them protected. A watchman is just somebody who keeps watch. That's all they do. They'll, they'll stand outside and just, um, 
you know, look and make sure nothing's attacking you. Well, Watchmen. <laughs> I forgot there's a movie, Watchmen. Okay, so let's see here. Okay, we might be able to finish this. All right, so good, guys. Good. Very good. Okay, um, let's see here. Uh, Abigail, I'm just going to start left to right. Go ahead, Abigail. Okay. Let me in, gasped Morg. She turned to look behind her. She was sure she could see yellow eyes glowing in the darkness. She, uh, the guard slammed the gate tight shut behind her. The guard tried to take her bundle, but Morg's fingers were frozen to it, so he led her along the twisting passage through the walls. By the time she came out, her father was there, swapping her into his arms. Morg, Morg, he whispered into her hair. My dearest girl, my brave girl, something screamed against, against his arm. What is that? he said, nearly dropping Morg. It's a piglet, a boar, she told him. I thought it would please you and mother. Then her father threw back his great head and roared with laughter, his whole body shaking. More. <laughs> so good. No, that's okay. We'll okay. stop right there. Very good. So yeah, so you know, here here's this so just imagine this picture, right? You know, you have your daughter, she's out in the woods, it's dark, you're scared. All of a sudden, here she comes, and all she has is this little piglet. She has this little piglet with her. Okay, so you first have this feeling of, oh my gosh, my little daughter, she's dead. And then all of a sudden, she comes back, and she has this little piglet to bring back. How funny! That's why he's just, you know, his uh, great head and roared with laughter. He threw back his great head with his whole body shaking. Okay, so good, good, good. Um, let's see here, Yasin. Hi, Yasin. Hello, Yasin. Okay, no Yasin. Jorge, Jorge, can you read yeah. this for me? Morg, you have... Hello, hello. Hello, it's Risha. Okay, yeah. so Yasin, Yasin, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, one, one second. Let's see if yeah. Yasin will get... Yasin, can you read this it's for us? Yes. yes. Can, you, can you see this, Yasin, here with Morg? Can you read this? Yes. Okay, see you later, Muhammad. Hey, hey, Yasin, Yasin, I'm, I'm not gonna have you read, okay? Yasin, you, you come in, you, you come in right at the end of class, <laughs> not knowing anything. Go ahead, Jorge. Let's try to finish this today, okay? Go ahead, Jorge. Yeah, have you left hunting periods? This price indeed, and he ordered again. Father murmured more. I'm cold. She started to sway. He stopped laughing abruptly. He took off his ticket red cloak and grabbed her and the piglet. Together he scooped the bundy into his arms and strode across the enclosure to the hood. He kicked open the door. Great, more is back, he said, and to Morgs. And judgment? Her mother dropped the foot of water that she had been holding and ran towards her. Continue. Uh, yeah, please. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yeah. More, my beautiful Mark, and her mother hugged her tightly, kissing her face and told, I had lost you. She's cold. She used her dog for the piglet said her father, and as she hid it on Morg's fingers, warm it be his cloak, unscaped. The piglet wiggled from his window and ran squiggly into the hood. Morg's, Morg's father beat into the door, which he kicked, closed it, and then he tried to catch it. But the piglet was fast and furious at its captivity. Uh, continue. Ah, uh, yeah, please. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Round and round, the fire they raised it, co joining in, trying to, uh, to hit the pivot into a corner. Two bowls of water were smashed. The room was knocked over. The pivot squeezed. Mork's mother grabbed the baby. Mork's father flung himself at the pivot, but only managed to land face forward on the, on the blankets. 
will grab, grab it at the straw to make a wall and Mark's father pushed some wood on the edge of the loom to form a pen and the pivot was trapped Mark's father and co were exhausted and Mark and her mother were quick from laughter. Okay, so good, so good. Yeah, um so by the way guys, uh you want to you want to continue the story's almost done those of you that want to uh, to stay on we can we can finish this story it's almost done okay be ashamed to leave it for next week um, go ahead uh, let's see Muhammad go ahead Muhammad what a demon yeah uh, give hmm. me a second I just want to catch up One second. Are we at sixteen? Right. Um, you should be reading the story as we go along, so that way you can understand the context. Okay. It's 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 okay, Mohammed. It's okay. We'll we'll skip you for now. Okay. Uh, Nihan, go ahead, Nihan. What a demon you have brought us, daughter. Guess Mark's father. Mark smiled. But now it is couch, couch, it is good. It can, uh, can, can you spell it, couch? But yeah, this, this, is, this is, is weird. Go ahead. We're, the, we're, the way you said it was weird. But now it is caught, it is good. So this is not proper English, okay? Caught. In case but you're wondering. But now it is caught, it is good. It can breed with our pigs to straighten them. The boar will bring us luck. You have done well. He turned and left the hut. Come near to the fire, child, said her mother. Drink some of this. And she offered Mark a cup of something hot and delicious. It is meat, said her mother. It will warm you. Mark, Mark sipped the honey drink and felt the ice melt inside her. Mother, she hesitated. How is my brother? The druid treated the burn with herbs and bound it. He has cut it less today. See, here he is sleeping. Morg, look at her mother. Did she look different? Mother, are you better? She said. Perhaps. The druid gave me an infusion. He burned some mist mistletoe to dry mm -hmm. mistletoe to dry what the full secret inside me. I feel more myself now. Mark smiled to herself. She knew that it was Alice that had cu cu uh, cured her mother. <laughs> she was glad. Okay, good, the good, door good, good, good. Open. That's good right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so mistletoe, they use mistletoe here to, uh, to solve a lot of the, um, a lot of the pains that they have there. Uh, Yasin? Yes. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, teacher, uh, what is mistletoe? Uh, yes. Yeah. So here's what mistletoe is. It's just a um, it's just a, a bush that you find. And during Christmas time, we have some. I don't know if it's in other places, but you hang mistletoe. And if two people are underneath the mistletoe, they kiss. Okay. But oh, in ancient I times, see. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. but in ancient times, it was like a remedy for a lot of things. Okay. I see. Yep. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yasin, go ahead. Yasin. Yes. Are you okay? Can you show me the text, please? Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> it's right here. Are you warm? Are you warm now, child? Are you warm now, child? Said her father because it is time for the feasting. Mog's mom, mother took the it plate off. Are you okay, Yasin? Okay, looks like we lost like Yasin. Uh, go, go ahead, Mario. They're dropping like flies. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead, Mario. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mark's mother took the lid of the wooden chest that stood at the head of their her straw pallet. Inside were the best cloaks that the family wore for fifth days. 
She carefully took them out, one by one. Cole's clock was the yellow of uh, buttercups. Her own was the green of the new oak leaves, and Morgue's was the colors of the sky as twilight. A misty gray blue. Morg stroked it uh, and remembered choosing the color of dyeing the wool. They had found the well in the forest and soaked the plant in hot water. Then they had taken the wool that they had spun and laid it in the dye. She jigged giggled to herself when she thought of her mother telling her to squat and we into it. It will fix the color her mother had said. They had left wool in the dive for days, just stirring in occasionally until the color had taken. Then she has helped her set up the loom and watched a thread went back and forth and built up the clothes that would form her cloak. She loved this cloak. She was soft and delicate and the blue matched her eyes. She put it over her shoulders. Pinny child, said her father and Morgs hung her head. Okay, good, 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 good. good. So, what she's so talking she's about talking here, here is, is the wooden chest, chest where they have all of these all really nice really cloaks. Nice cloaks. And again, the author the is just bringing, bringing more and more. Well, he's actually bringing you color to it, but he's bringing more color and color in the way he's describing it. Okay, okay. He's describing it. See, there's a big echo. There's a big echo? Yeah. Let me end this broadcast.